Hey guys, this was the best game of the past week, Blitz game. Uh, so I was white in the following game. Uh, I played against um, Candidate Master rated 2700 and he opted for modern defense. So let me immediately show you what happened there. After a4, g6, d4, bishop, g7, I always teach my students when someone gives you the center, whether he goes g6, e6, d6, c6, go with d4 and get a center. Uh, it's especially annoying when you play against opponents who go with this type of modern defense because they have uh, a whole variety of variations and possibilities after bishop g7. And here they can play a6, b6, c6, d6, d5, e6, even knight f6. And that's what makes modern defense a little bit more difficult for playing. But the following game, I'm gonna explain you how to attack. I played knight f3 and he played knight f6. He's provoking you to do some sort of e5, knight e4, in which case they have a decent game. So I played knight c3, he went for castles. Somehow my opponent allows me to play e5, but at the same time he doesn't want to move the pawn from d7, d7 to d6. Why? Because at some point he wants to play d5 in one move and if I take, he's gonna take, in, in which case black is fine, and if I push my pawn to e5, he's gonna jump with his knight on e4 and he's gonna get a nice game. So I just said okay, uh, I definitely have to take advantage of that and I played e5. Now I'm teaching you something. For example, when I give this position to a couple of my students and ask them, give me candidates, what would you play? Most of them, knowing my style of play and knowing that I usually go with crazy attacking moves, said immediately h4. And then I said, okay, I guess uh, you were pretty much aware of the fact that I want to push the h4 and I want to attack, but don't do it like that. Always first kick the knight away with e5, get that tempo, remove the knight back to e8, in this case e8, sometimes on d7, and then unleash and go with the kingside attack with h4. It's a, there is a very big point that the knight shouldn't be on f6, and uh, that knight absolutely doesn't care much uh, and doesn't pay attention on that h4, h5 idea by white. So, I was expecting h5. On h5, I wouldn't hesitate. I would instantly go with g4. I would jump with my knight here, threatening to play h5. And if d5, which I believe because he wants to defend the pawn, I would just push h5. And I won a couple of games with h6. When you take on g7, they lose the defender. And it's easy to play with the bishop pair and absolutely broken king side. My opponent went with d6. I said, okay, not a big deal. Um, I need to carry on with the attack. I just said myself at this moment, I gotta play very consequently and played h5. I believe he was supposed to play d takes e5 instantly. Uh, okay, he played knight c6, which is a very logical thing. He's attacking on e5 and wants to play bishop g4. I took on g6 and here it's a very important moment to decide what are you going to do. If you react and if you simply feel some sort of, you know, like fear and go with e takes d6, you lose, uh, I would say, the fight for initiative. Uh, you just show fear, he get an additional tempo in the defense and you lose the momentum to go with the attack. So I just said, okay, I got to carry on with my attack. I went with bishop h6 and just like I uh, told you previously, I'm also giving you my thoughts during this blitz game. This was a three minute blitz game, but also I'm teaching you how to think. If you go for the attack, don't stop. There is no reason to start the, to start the attack and then to say, okay, I back up. No, I give up on my idea and to attack you. I'm going to defend. No, if you attack, go with it. So I played bishop h6, he took on e5. Once again, I was put in some sort of like uh, important moment and uh, uh, some sort of like decision. Should I, I don't know, take on e5, take on g7 or carry on with the attack? I played queen d2 and believe it or not, this game ended up in four moves. So watch out. 
The guy played knight d4. Of course, I was expecting on e takes d4 to take on g7, bring my queen on h6, and to win the game. To win the game in the very similar style that happened in the game. So he played knight to d4. Clever move. He now, if I take on g7, he threatens knight f3 check, he's going to trade off the queens, and he's going to be winning because he's up a pawn. And my attack simply disappears. So I said, okay, I got to carry on with the attack since he threatens knight f3 to trade the queens off. The guy uh, just decided I played long castle. And now if he takes on f3, I'm going to take the queen for free. So he cannot play that and I'm buying time for my attack. So when I played long castle, my opponent, without much thinking, played bishop g4. Looks like he's pinning my knight. Looks like uh, he's controlling a little bit better that queen. And looks like I've got nothing. I said, okay, not a big deal. I instantly took on g7 because I already saw what might happen in the game. So I played bishop g7 and he took by knight. Uh, he had to take by king, in which case I would give check. And when he comes back, I would just go with queen, g, queen g5. I would win the bishop and he resigns the game because I'm up a piece. But actually he took by knight and allowed me to make a beautiful uh, game and kind of blitz master piece. So I came up with rook h8. I came up with this nice rook sack. Uh, it's not a common thing to see the knight on g7 instead of bishop and to see this kind of idea uh, almost like kind of smarter mate. He had to take this rook. I brought my queen on h6. And when he played here, I played knight g5. There was no reason for him to defend from queen h7. And in the worst case scenario, queen h8 very next move uh, after that with checkmate hope that you enjoyed the uh, the best and also shortest game of the past uh, week uh, played by myself in blitz and i'm just gonna keep providing games like this and hopefully you could have learned something out of my thoughts during the blitz game so when you go and when you launch the attack all in don't stop all the best see you next week